Hello and welcome to my lesson. Today we'll be talking about getting to know each other. How are you? In Slovene, how are you is kako si? Kako si? That's the informal version. And the formal version is kako ste? Kako ste? The formal version is something you should you would also say for multiple people. The next one is what is your name? In Slovene you would say kako ti je ime. Kako ti je ime? Kako means how is your name. That's what it literally means. Kako ti je ime? Um ime means name. Let's write it down. Ime name. A name consists of a name and a surname. So we also need a surname. Surname is the imek. It has two eyes. Pri imek. That's the surname. Now to remember this, it's pretty easy. Just remember that name is ime, and you have me in the word pri imek. Then we have pri. Pri means by. Name means ime means name. Translated this, it would say by name. Okay, pri imek. I hope that makes it easier to um to understand so what is your name kako ti je ime or what is your name in a formal way would be kako vam je ime so remember when we speak in a formal way we say it like we're talking to multiple people so first person plural that's all you need to know for now what is your last name kako se pišeš Kako se pišeš? Liter if we actually translated this uh, in a literal way, it would say, How are you writing? Pišeš means writing. Okay? Pisati means to write. Um, so, yeah. That's, that means, um, what's your last name? Uh, and in a formal way, you'd say, Kako se pišete? Kako se pišete? Okay. Then we have, where are you from? Odkod si? Odkod si? When you translate this, od means from, kod means where, and si means you. Are you? From where are you? Okay. It's a little bit different from uh, English, and in formal we would say "odkod ste," which means "from where are you?" for multiple people. Okay. Uh, it was nice to meet you. We have two ways of saying it. You could just say "it was nice" or "it was nice to meet you." So "it was nice" is "me veseli." Me veseli. Okay, that means I am happy. I'm happy. Literally translated. Me veseli. It was nice. And me veseli, that's what says poznala, means I'm happy that we have met. It was nice to meet you. Me veseli, that's what says poznala. Okay. So, these are the questions. Now we need answers. So, good thank you is dobro hvala. Dobro hvala. Dobro means good. So, dobro is good. Slabo would be bad. Slabo is bad. Okay. Hvala means 
Thank you. And prosim means you're welcome or please. Okay. So, if somebody says hvala, you say prosim. Pretty easy. So all you need to remember is dobro, hvala. Two words, not too hard. Dobro means good, hvala means um, thank you. And to introduce yourself, you would say my name is in English or ime mia. Ime mia. No, my name is Thea, so I'll say ime mia Thea. Ime mia Thea. This is the same in both formal and informal. Okay? And for your last name, we'll say my last name is or pishem se, which literally means I write myself. Pishem se. Um, pishem se Smith, for instance. Okay. Ime mi etaya, pishem se Smith. The last name is fake. <laughs> so, yeah, don't think that's me. Okay. And to say where you're from, you'll say, in English, you would say, I am from. Uh, I means yas. But here, you can see that it doesn't say yas. Because we just say, am from. Okay? Sam is. Sam is. And I gave you some um, countries. But if you have a specific country, Comment it down below. I have no problem doing this for you. Um, or you can just Google it. Um, so yeah. Sam is Združenega Kraljestva. I am from the UK. Združeno means united. Kraljestvo means kingdom. So Sam is Združenega Kraljestva. But just the country United Kingdom is Združeno Kraljestvo. Okay, I am from the America. Sam is America. Sam is America. You could also say, I'm from USA. Sam is ZDA. Sam is ZDA. Okay, uh, but we use America pretty often. America means America. I'm from America means Sam is America. Okay. I'm from Australia. Sam is Australia. Sam is Australia. Okay. Uh, Australia is the country. Australia. It's pretty close. <laughs> um, Nemtia is Germany. I'm from Germany. Sam is Nemtia. Sam is Nemtia. The country Germany in Slovene is Nemtia. Nemtia. Okay. And the last one, I'm from Russia or Sam is Russia. Sam is Russia. Or the country would be Russia. So now let's get started. To je. This is. So first of all, gospa. Gospa means miss, Mrs. Okay? Gospa means Mrs. Gospodichna. means um, miss and gospod means mister so we have gospa gospodichna and gospod you use miss when so gospodichna whenever you speak 
to somebody who is younger, not married, youthful, for uh, a woman, okay, this is Miss Mateja Novak, okay, Mateja Novak, okay, to je gospa Mateja Novak, to je, this is, okay, this means to, je means is, so to je, this is, to je gospa, this is Mrs. Okay, to je gospa Mateja Novak. This is Mrs. Mateja Novak. Okay, to je gospa Mateja Novak. This is how you will introduce her. If you're introducing somebody who's a, uh, who's a man, you would say, This is Mr. Peter Novak. To je gospod. Peter Novak. This is to je Mr. Gospod Peter Novak. De, uh, to je Gospod Peter Novak. Okay, that's pretty simple. You will use this uh, when you introduce, for instance, if you have a seminar or any kind of like work related uh, presentation or anything very formal you will say okay uh um, that's how you introduce yourself for instance um welcome pozdravljeni uh to je gospod peter novak ki bo danes govoril na tej predstavitvi which means this is mr peter novak who is going to talk today on the presentation um, so yeah, this is the kind of way you would use this. Okay, now if you're introducing a friend, you could say To je Mateja. Okay, this is Mateja. Or To je Mateja Novak. You don't have to put the gospa. This is only in a formal way, okay? Or for a man you would say To je Peter. Okay, good. Now we know how to introduce people. Um, now let's learn how to introduce women and how to introduce uh, inter introduce men. Um, so first of all, this is my, this is what we're gonna say. This is my wife, sister, mom, daughter, blah blah blah. So this is my, this is my for a woman is to je moja, and for a man is to je moj. Um, a few videos ago in my grammar series, I did did a detailed video about uh, how women, like in a female form, we say in a feminine form when we are talking about women, for instance, we add an a, and in a male form we don't. So mo ya. For a woman and moi for a man. Okay, so when you're introducing a woman, no matter if you're speaking as a man or uh, you identify as anything else or as a woman, you could say to je moja. Okay, this is my. And when you're introducing men, you would say to je moj. Okay, so to je moja. Okay, to je moja žena. This is my wife. Žena. Wife. Okay? To je moja sestra. This is my sister. Sestra. Sister. Okay? To je moja mama. This is my mom. Mama. Mom. To je moja hči. This is my daughter. Hči. Daughter. To je moja prijateljica. This is my friend. Uh, but this is a friend who's a girl. So, to je moja prijateljica. Prijateljica means friend. To je moja punca. This is my girlfriend. Punca means girlfriend. But punca also means girl. Okay? Um, to je moja Kolegica, or you could say sodelavka. 
This is my colleague. Kolegica or sodelavka? Colleague. Okay, so we have žena, sestra, mama, pči, prijateljica, punca, kolegica and sodelavka. Okay, uh, for instance, you could say, if you're introducing your wife, to je moja žena Tina. For instance, her name is Tina. Okay, now let's go to introducing men. Like I said before, with women, you said, you, we say, to je moja. And with men, we say, to je moj. There's no A, okay? This is my, okay. To je moj mož. This is my husband. Mož means husband. To je moj brat. Means this is my brother. Brat means brother. To je moj oče. Means this is my father. Oče means father. To je moj sin. Means this is my son. To je moj sin. This is my son. Sin means son. To je moj prijatel. Means this is my friend. Prijatel means friend. As you can see, prijateljica okay, and prijatel. So, a friend who's a girl and a friend who's a boy. To je moj fant. This is my boyfriend. Fant means boyfriend, but it also means boy. So, an old man would say, Kje je fant? Where is the boy? Okay? Um, yeah. To, to je moj kolega or sodelavec. Kolega or sodelovet. Kolega or sodelovet means colleague. Alright, that's it for today.